Hello everybody, it's Jenny Five I'm talking and yes, I am back from the vacation and as I promised, I will get a video out tomorrow this Monday. So, what are we gonna do as the first video of me returning from Italy? Well, I'm gonna return with the new stat battle that I am not that far behind on, so that's only a plus. This time it is Laura Croft versus Nathan Drake. Now this is an interesting fight. Uh, the two treasure hunters of the video game world. And as for my experience, uh, when it comes to Miss Croft, uh, I have sadly not played any of her games. I have not. What I have seen of her <laughs> is a live action movie starring Angelina Jolie. The I think this is the first proper video game movie I ever saw. And... I enjoyed it for what it was. Like, I don't know how much I can comment on it, but I thought it was nice. Not good action and intrigue and everything. What interested me, I was very young. And of course, Angelina Jolie was also good. But when it comes to Mr. Drake, I have played his three games. I know there's four now, but I don't have a PlayStation 4, so I can't play that. Along with so many other games that I want to play, seriously, like Bloodborne, stuff like that. I want to play that, but I can't. But yeah, I have played all his three first games. Love them all. Uh, if I have to pick a favorite uh, right away, I would say maybe two. I think two would be my favorite. Um, and when it comes to skills, they are both very similar. As far as I like know of them. They are both like agile enough to climb mountains basically. They are both literally armed to the teeth with many many kinds of weapons. And in my mind they're very equal. There is because they're both human, there isn't like and they don't have any sort of super forms or anything. They don't really have any kind of big thing that they can just pull out of their butt unless Lara has some kind of magical artifact that she can use or something, I don't know. But yeah, if I had to go with one of them, I think I would have to go with my boy Nathan. Why? Because he's the one I have played with the most. Sorry, Laura. I know you by internet fame. For more than one thing. But I have to go with, with uh, the boy that I've played with the most. Nate is our boy. So, if you're already, my dear friends, let us, let us begin and see what result we will find in this death battle between Laura Croft and Nathan Drake. Let us hunt for this treasure. In three, two, one, go! This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Go90. Also, it's nice the to like be back with Death Battle. Featuring TV shows, because I know that series, most of my concerts, sports, uh, subscribers are here for Death Battle. So yeah, I am aware of that. Watch Go90 free on your phone, tablet, laptop, or cast your TV. Visit Go90.com or download the app on your iOS or Android device today and be sure to check <laughs> I out I would love to, but I have a Windows you know, phone. Exclusively on Seriously, Go90. I can download crap on this thing. Not even Pokemon Go. Whoa! New Sometimes logos! Sometimes archaeologist needs a bit more than a shovel and brush. Especially when they're on the hunt for the most legendary of treasure. Yeah, if it were that easy, everyone would be doing it. The best treasure hunters are the ones with the brawn to match their brain. Yep. Like Lara Croft, the Tomb Raider. And Nathan Drake, seeker of the Uncharted. He's Wiz and eh. Boomstick. And it's our Nathan job really to had, analyze their really weapons, had a armor, and a skills title. to find out who would win that moment was a awesome. death battle. Okay, full 3D. New Most people spend their the entire lives in pursuit of wealth, status, and power. But Lara Croft was lucky enough to be born into them. However, despite attending the best schools and living in her own oh, mansion, the movie. she was missing one crucial thing. Adventure. And rich people are there it is. I never saw the second movie, but I saw this one. Themselves entertained. But if you have a lot of money and you take a lot of trips, it's good odds that one of those trips is bound to go horribly wrong. And guess what? It did. Oh yeah. Before she was even old enough to order a drink, a crash landing left her stranded in desolation. She had to learn for herself how to adapt and survive for over a week before returning to civilization as a whole new lady. Okay. In whatever Tomb Raider timeline you're looking at, whether it's on an island or the Himalayas, Lara's destined to this life-changing fate. Which is, pre which is pretty sad when you think about it. Like you're destined to Lara's be without parents. Lara's experience left her far from traumatized. Instead, she was inspired, hooked by the thrill of perilous adventure. 
So she struck out on her own, seeking lost treasure across the globe to make a name for herself. But Lara's no fool, so first she made sure she'd be ready for anything. That movie was so she awesome when I was younger. She the best teachers she could find to learn her the ways of stealth, survival, and martial arts. She became proficient in numerous types of firearms, and her martial art of choice and that was a comic very book even. I didn't know that. She can even fight while blindfolded. So she's basically Batman, who treasure hunts with guns. Speaking of which, Lara is famous for her trademark dual Heckler and Koch pistols. Yep. And I'm not talking about the things under her sweater, but she's also skilled with shotguns, assault I rifles, was waiting for machine that. guns, even grenades. And she uses them to take down everything from armed thugs to T-Rexes. Yeah, that's Lara why she's called dinosaurs. Lara is skilled with a competition that's compound the thing. bow, perfect for stealth kills. And she's got enough trick arrows to make Green Arrow proud. She's got fire arrows, poison arrows, explosive tipped arrows, and even rope arrows for crossing gaps or grappling things. And while her climbing axe is supposed to be used for scaling up cliffs, you can imagine what the thing does to a human skull. Oh yeah. Oh wait, you don't have to. Watch. Ow. Mm, lovely. Yeah. I don't have the newest like PlayStation side. stuff, Laura's so uh, what kind of games would you recommend me to play? Ways. She's discovered the legendary blade Excalibur, the Philosopher's Stone, the Ark of the Covenant, Thor's hammer Mjolnir, and even Bigfoot, who what? she also promptly killed. Suck it, Sasquatch! What? She survived dinosaurs, the Kraken, a Chinese dragon, and she even found the long-lost Led Zeppelin song, Stairway to Heaven. What? No, 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 she found what? a literal Stairway to Heaven. Really? Holy ha. shit! For a 132-pound woman, she's surprisingly strong. She's held up a heavy gate for Those and the animated seconds, things didn't really while drowning. She also regularly pushes um, around enormous boulders. Like I don't want to comment on the it. pyramid of Giza. This makes her easily strong enough to say punch a man through a wooden beam. Ow. Lara's also a crack shot. She can precisely tag multiple targets in less than a second, even if they're button-sized bolts or kunai flying wow. through the air. She's skilled enough to infiltrate and escape Area 51. She's tenacious enough to take a bullet in the heat of battle and keep fighting. And she's tough enough to dive off a 250-foot cliff into water with no injury whatsoever. The highest documented dive ever recorded is 193 feet. But unlike Lara, this driver underwent weeks of preparation and still broke his collarbone. Oh, well, this girl can survive almost anything. When she was younger, she got impaled by a rusty metal spike and was still able to complete an entire adventure while in constant pain. She wasn't even able to properly treat it. She had to cauterize it with a burning arrow tip. Damn, that's hardcore. Ow. I think I found my next ex-wife. And then there was that one time she threw her climbing axe at a helicopter and it just... It just exploded. Wait, what? Yeah, the only logical explanation being she threw the axe into the chopper's air intake, shredded its internals, which caused a spark that reached its gas tank. She made the helicopter explode with nothing but an axe. <laughs> that girl's got one hell of an arm. I think we can all agree Lara is a badass, but she thinks so too. Also beat up on hard ass. If she gets too full of it, she can always find herself at the wrong end of a tree branch, crushed by boulders, mauled by wolves, shot in the head, stabbed through the face, all sorts of horrific yeah, these games mistakes. have Even some horrific that, death scenes. The so risk Lara. doesn't keep her from any of her bewildering adventures. Don't you think you've seen enough? Hey, hey, hey we had a, just a whole segment about you. I couldn't. I can help. Sick Parvis Magna. To most people, these words hold little meaning, but for globe-trotting explorer Nathan Drake, it's his life motto. Greatness from small beginnings. And beginnings don't get much smaller than his. Little Nate spent half his childhood I have seen in a people play home PlayStation where he was 4, raised by nuns, so I on by do bullies, know how pretty much just his childhood on is. For every second of his life. We just like to collapse under him. I just saw that. <laughs> it's true. The explorer who found El Dorado, Sir Francis Drake. And like his idol, Nathan dreamed of one day escaping the orphanage to go on treasure hunts of his own. And he did, with his big brother Sam. The treasure? They're dead mom's old journals about Mr. Drake himself. Turns out they were in some old lady's house, so they broke in, she called the cops, and then immediately died of a heart attack. Obviously not wanting to be caught Forgot trespassing about that. and standing over a dead woman when the police arrived, Nathan began a life on the run. Talk about shitty luck. Wow. Man, all he wanted was a book. Fortunately, Nathan seemed born for the treasure hunter's life. He's exceptionally athletic, has encyclopedic Oh yeah, he knowledge, can climb and, and jump. He can find a way out of almost any bad situation with his quick wit. He'd make sure that everyone would remember the name Nathan Drake.
they, the theme song, After theme music of Uncharted adventures. is amazing. Nathan eventually teamed up with Victor Sullivan. Uh, AKA one of, it, one of the best figures, one of the best characters in video game history. Of combat, both with his fists and with firearms. Good thing too, because it seems like everybody out there wants to take a shot at Nate. Literally. He almost always has a 45 Defender or 9mm pistol on hand, as well as a couple grenades. Nate can rack up the body count with just about any weapon he touches, including machine guns, yep. shotguns, grenade launchers, He's very and adapt with the weapons. Rifles. Hey, when there's a literal army of bad guys out to kill you, you gotta become a one-man army yourself. Yeah. Ready for anything, Nathan set out to follow in his idol's footsteps, and then some. He's discovered five lost civilizations, stopped multiple world-ending threats, and even unlocked the secret of El Dorado like Sir Francis Drake before him. Yeah, turns out it's not a city of gold, just a dead guy that turns people into zombies. That was very surprising and very weird at the same time. See that one coming. Anyway, Nate wouldn't have done any of those things if he weren't physically fit for the job. He's strong enough to move boulders twice his size and hold up a four-ton gate for four I seconds. That. He can climb huge cliffs with nothing but There's his There's always some ledges. Constantly jumps humongous gaps without needing a running start. The standing broad jump world record is 12 feet and 3 inches. Wow. In this instance, Nathan Drake was able to make a 19 foot jump from a standstill. Why is that shown from a PSP? Feet, and he's always clearing similar jumps throughout his adventures. Oh, yes. Nate's got hops, but he's also got an iron hide. He's got hops. Dude is he's got jumps. Jason Cox is looking proud. And just shaking it off. Like that time he did a 40 foot belly flop and got right back up like it was nothing. That could kill a normal guy. Nathan Drake is nothing if not determined. When he found himself cornered on a train and bleeding out from a bullet wound, his solution was to simply blow the whole thing yeah. to oblivion. The train what sequence in Uncharted 2 is incredible tanks. and amazing. But of course, he survived the crash and even climbed to safety, despite having no way of knowing he'd get out of this whole mess alive at all. On top of all that, look what he's wearing! It's freezing up there! Actually, explosions generally seem to be his exit of choice. Yeah. Like when he blew up a cargo plane while flying over Saudi Arabia. How do you even? surviving the trip to the ground, he wandered the desert for two straight days. I have to play these games again. Water. But even with all that, when he found a bunch of mercenaries who wanted to kill him, he was still able to fight them off. How is this guy real? What kind of deal did he make with Satan? Because he should know that that stuff comes with a terrible price. Believe me. All of this just Wait. proves how careless and haphazard he is. trying to tell us something? Is. This man rarely, if ever, has a plan for anything at any time. Oh, point. never! He just Nearly goes in balls blazing. every moment of his life, whether he's in or out of danger, Nathan's philosophy insists that he simply roll with whatever punches come his way. When it comes down to it, much of his survivability can be chalked up to an abundance of good luck. And also his incredible knack for improvising and adapting. Lucky or not, hundreds if not thousands of bad guys have tried to beat him to some treasure and lost. It's As good odds that if you go up against Nathan Drake, you're not just gonna lose that treasure, you're gonna lose your life. Basically. What the hell did you do back there? Oh, well, you know, save the world. And improvised a lot. All right, the combatants are yeah, new graphical Let's detail. this debate once and for all. But first, I'm gonna tell you how to save your relationship. What? Valentine's Day is rapidly approaching, and oh, you're yeah, probably what still it, looking for a gift for your significant other or love interest. Don't ask me, I'll look like it up And what a festive way to deliver this month's alimony check. Well, there's an easy, foolproof solution. Proflowers.com, a service that lets oh, you choose one of those from an assortment of lovely flowers bouquets. To people. Okay. Then select the delivery date, and Pro Flowers will deliver them. Plus, the okay, flowers are guaranteed to, me to last for seven days of your money back. I think honestly that Nate. Looking at your wallet right now. Well, good news. I want Nathan Drake to win, but the boy to have hyped the characters off. It sounds like Lara may be the one who's going to pull it off. I am going to keep uh, to keep hoping on the and believe in the top that Nathan right is going to be the one who will win battle. with his or tremendous if you want to go amount of luck. Mile, the what is that? To two dozen long stem is that? I don't want to. I don't want to. But um, yeah, I want Nathan to win. So head to and if not, then Lara is a cool character of her own, so that would be okay as well. But so right I now, think that the skills are very similar, they are, um, their feats are very similar, but it seems like just, that's the way it's going to be. So, Nathan, my boy. Let's hope this goes work. This goes well. Damn, it's cold up here. Okay, I wonder who they got to voice these guys. 
<laughs> gotcha. Oh, you didn't have to go through some tremendous Stop. kind of inconvenient puzzle? Turn around. Slowly. Ah, crap. Hey there. Uh, I'm guessing the whole finders keepers rule isn't gonna apply. Cut the chit chat. The Grail's coming with me. Either walk away or die right here. Choose wisely. Okay, Missy. First rule about me. I don't walk away. That is maybe the last thing that Nathan would ever do in any situation, just walk away. So again, it's interesting because these are two people who have survived some incredible things, but still they are human. Uh, it never fails. I get to the gold at the end of the rainbow and somebody tries to kill me. And it's a girl. Very often there's a girl, I don't think about it. Oh, oh there's always a girl involved. But I I think Lara is the best when it comes to uh, to close combat now that I think about it. Oh shit. <laughs> Not a scratch. Do you know what you've done? That's probably not good. Oh, there's going to be environmental stuff? Okay, that's definitely not good. The 3D animation has improved. <laughs> but yeah, now that I think about it, Lara Croft is maybe the best of the two of them when it comes to close quarters combat. And she and he is best at... Well, maybe not best, but just good at the shooting. How will you get out of this one, this one, Lara? Because it can't end there. There she is with the motorbike. Ow. Did you know he's driving, right? Not a good idea to bash a driver. Sorry, have to do what I have to do. Oh shit. Oh, poor Nathan. Ah, crap. Oh, sorry, boy. What's going on? Oh, the helicopter's leaving. Wait, did he? God damn it! Freaking Nathan is luck and the way he does things. Oh dear, really? They're going to do that now? Ow. Yeah, there was a reason why they mentioned that specific thing. Ow! Oh, Nathan. Hmm. Not a scratch. Oh, I feared as much. Oh, nice shit! Told you she had a good arm. Lara and Nathan have both displayed impressive feats of strength, durability, agility, and weapon skills. But Lara tended to have the edge in every category. Both of them were way stronger than you'd think. Nathan shoved a boulder large enough to weigh 20 tons. That means he literally had the strength of 10 men. But in Lara's case, she moved several limestone blocks used in the Great Pyramids. Not only did she move them much farther distances than Nathan, but given their size and makeup, these blocks should weigh over 27 tons each. Lara's way tougher too, and has been through things that definitely would have taken Nate out. Like when she was impaled by rebar, but was still able to accomplish everything necessary to survive a hostile island for a week. Nathan suffered a bullet wound in the same area of the body. And while he powered through the pain for a short time, he soon passed out and was unconscious while under intensive care for three days. Take my word for it, I've been through pretty much everything you can think of, and I'd rather take a bullet than rebar any day. And that rebar thing happened when Lara was pretty young. Later, she got all sorts of combat and survival training from experts, while Nate was mostly self-taught, with a few pointers every so often from true. a con man. Also, when the pressure's really on, Lara manages to always keep a cool head. Much better than Nate. So, you got a plan C? Yeah, floor it. What? I'm getting on that train. <laughs> 
What are you, crazy? Nathan Drake did just about everything by the seat of his pants, and eventually, luck always runs out. Yeah, she was just too crafty for him. The winner is Laura Ha! Ah, ah, I get it. So, who's the next one? Next time on Death Battle. Who's the next? What? What? Scrooge? The most amount of battling he's done was in DuckTales hey guys, when he could bounce around on people I'm ben with his cane. And next time we've got Scrooge McDuck versus... Did I just see ID Monty as uh, Laura Croft? That's awesome. Facebook official SA. And if you want to be the first I did manage to see who played Nathan. Become a first member anyway. by clicking the link in the description below. All right. And start a 30-day free trial. It's a great way to support the show. Thanks. Of course. Always happy to watch. So... Sorry, Nate, my dear, but Lara won in the end. So they, so yeah. Hmm. I am sure that a bunch of people are going to point out things they either didn't include or didn't like show in like in the full potential or anything like that. But I enjoyed the video in its entirety. Like when it comes to most death battles. To me, it's not really, the most interesting part for me isn't so much about who really would win or would lose in a battle like this. For me, the most interesting part is just well learning about the characters, learning more about them, about the skills, their feats, personalities. That is maybe the most interesting part for me when it comes to these kind of videos. Like it is cool, the battle part. It is cool, I'd like to see them battle it out and trying to figure out who wins. But for me, the most important part is. Who are these characters? What can they do? Who are they? Um, where did they come from? How did they get to where they are? That's like my main concern. So while it is sad to me that Drake did not win this fight, I am still sit satisfied because I think this was a good death battle video. And I am also surprised about how little that Boomstick uh, commented on Lara, Croft, Lara Croft's uh, figure. He only did it once, though. I either think he, I either think that he is learning, or something else is going on. But all in all, I think this was a good video. I enjoyed it a lot. So as always, my dear friends, thank you all very much for watching. Please tell me in the comments below what you think about the death battle, my reaction, and my channel in general. Please tell me both positive and negative, so I can use it all to grow and evolve into a better entertainer for you guys. But as always, my dear friends, thank you so very much for watching. My name is Johnny Fireflame, and I'll see you guys next time. And it's good to be back.